Hello, welcome to More Than One Opinion. This is Rodi Namor with my co-host, Ginny Day. Thanks for joining us for another episode. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the importance of having authentic relationships in your life and specifically what our <coughs> standards and metrics are that constitutes a genuine and authentic relationship. So we're gonna kick off with Rodi. Um, I guess take us on a bit of your journey uh, from your 20s to now. Look, I mean, I think in terms of um, uh, authentic uh, relationship, it means obviously some, something real, uh, something that, uh, that works well with, uh, with you and uh, resonates well in your life. Uh, there's no use being uh, friends and, um, and uh, you know, joining a partner, whether it be a, a wife, uh, a girlfriend or a, uh, um, or, a, or a mate or even business partner if, uh, you know, your, your ideas and your way of thinking don't align. Um, you know, I, I really believe in that because otherwise you'll be playing tug of war the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll be fighting against each other, who's right, who's wrong. Uh, you, you just never for each other. You're not a team. And, uh, and that to me uh, uh, works really well. If everything's aligned, um, you'll succeed. Whether, uh, whether it be, like I said, in friendship, whether it be in business, uh, in, in marriage, in, um, you know, in, in any relationship, you'll succeed because you're aligned. And, um, and that, that, to me, uh, gears you up for better and, and, and finer things in life. Mm-hmm. If uh, from the start, and I was talking to you before about yeah. it, um, from the start, if you're, if, this is honeymoon period. Yeah. Um, when, you're, when you just meet someone, that's honeymoon period. Yeah. Um, they're, they're putting in their best foot forward. If you already can see all the red flags and all the problems and everything from the start, and this is the best version of themselves, um, what have you left for later? I mean, obviously, it's going to be a dead end. It's not a good friendship. It's not a good relationship. It's not a good marriage. It's going to be a real problem for you. And uh, for me, I apply uh, uh, friendships, uh, relationships, and um, business all together because they have to align. Yeah. They, they, they're all the same. So uh, for me uh, personally, and you're asking me the personal question, what I look for is, uh, yeah, I look for little things that, um, that can that person be my friend? Can that person be um, uh, my, um, someone that I'm in a relationship with? And um, will I grow with them? Are there red flags? Are the red flags uh, are funny red flags, like whatever, or the red flags that really will um, um, uh, be a burden and a problem for me in the future? And will my um, uh, um, way of thinking be a problem for them in the future? I'm not saying that I'm right or wrong. There's no one right or wrong. Yeah. It's do we align? Are we a, a perfect match or do we match? So um, that to me will show you that at the start when you're young, you've got hundreds and thousands of friends. Yeah. And as you get older, <laughs> as a lot of the older um, uh, generations would say to you, you'll count all your real good friends on one hand. And that really means um, that genuine people and um, people that align with the way you think uh, will be very few in life and, um, and, and very few that will carry on the journey. And I said that um, to you personally that uh, we became friends because we, we, there was just, we aligned. Um, obviously, your, your husband's a, a friend of mine, my girlfriend's a friend of yours, but we aligned straight away. It's the way we think, the way we think, it, we just, it, it's a good match. Um, you know, you're not forcing it. It, it just is. Yeah, it um, has you know? to be an organic, like. I, I really believe it. You yeah. know, and I uh, yeah. sorry, I correct what I said. Genuine or not genuine? They're probably genuine. They just don't think like you. Yeah. Right. So it's not yeah. that they're not genuine. It's that they all be probably genuine. It's just they don't think like you. And I really believe that if you're starting it like that uh, from the start, you're going to be playing tug of war with them. Why? Who's right? Who's wrong? Like it, it from the start, it's a dead end, and um, and I really am a strong believer of scratch the surface, mm-hmm. uh, reveal some secrets to them, and see what they do with them. Uh, you know, uh, really, <laughs> a, a, a test. You you, yeah. you got to see from the start. Um, are the fights um, uh, like uh, to to assist you? Meaning, are they giving you um, feedback? on some constructive um, criticism or are they just lashing out because they're generally um, jealous and they don't wish you the best um, from the start you will see that so scratch the surface give them a secret give them something give them something to nibble on and see what they actually react their face will tell you if they're genuine with you or not do they wish you the best or not are they your your right hand person or not are they the lion or are they the sheep as soon as um, uh, um, the fight kicks on are they going to have your back 
or they're going to just run and, and, and join their other um, uh, sheep with them. Yeah. So that to me is a uh, is, is little indicators that I would look out for um, in, in friendship. I honestly can tell you that over the years, um, so many people have come and gone, but the genuine ones that I find genuine that connects with me um, have been there. And even if I haven't seen them for years, they'll pop in into my life like nothing's happened. Like you literally you nothing's like happened. Off, right? yeah, literally, yeah. literally. I would reconnect with people that I haven't seen for nine years as if nothing has happened. Everything's normal. We're sitting like as if we're sitting me and you. Why? Because they were already, that, they were aligned with me. Something happened. We, um, we got busy. They got busy. Whatever. Things happen in life. It's normal. But uh, these are the things that I look out for. And, um, you know, and I'm not being evil and I'm being sort of, uh, um, you know, trying to, try to throw in um, uh, something to, to, to break a relationship. But I really am um, a strong believer in early on, throw in something, see what actually, uh, what, what happens, see how they react. Doesn't matter how angry I am from, um, from someone that I really um, like. If I'm really, really angry with you, I'm still not going to insult you in a way to hurt you. Or I'm not going to bring you. and disrespect you, right? Yeah. So, um, so if someone does do that, they don't like you. They don't. They really don't like you. Yeah. Um, and because you scratched the surface, you really saw the other side of them. They honestly don't like you. Um, they're with you because either they're benefiting from you or, or whatever it is, but they don't like you. Yeah, I really don't appreciate those people. I guess mm. the leeches you can say who form friendships with you because they think they can get something out of you. Yeah. Like I, that's my number one, like absolute like hatred. Mm. I cannot. I don't know why I seem to attract those types of well you're successful people, like, you, you are over, successful over, you've got good just, energy it's just, like yeah maybe it's the energy like mm. you know um that you you put out there but it's it's not that we don't have stuff going on in our lives yeah you, right? we, do. we just we know do. how to deal with it yeah but also what we project the positivity we project out that takes work mm. that takes a lot of inner work to to do that you see, can't just see Ginny, people are attracted to that yeah so so like before we were talking about it before, that people, you'll attract similar people to yourself. But that's also not the case. You will attract people that like that, but they want to rob you from that. They Without wanna, doing the work themselves. The, the, yeah, it's like, how do I get that very quickly? It's like, yeah. I like what she has. I like the way she deals with problems. I like the way she handles um, her issues. I like the way um, she still has a positive view and a spin and a solution for every problem. Um, they like that, but um, but as soon as they come in, they're not attracted because they're exactly like you. They just want that. Yeah. They're attracted to that. Um, but so you attract actually both people. So at the end of the day, my test <laughs> is the one that will. Uh, I need give to. You. I need to have formulated tests of. But that's just the test. To I identify really. those types you, of people. You have a lot to scratch to, the surface a lot more quickly. I mean, yeah. I'm not that I stand for that. As soon as I mm. see that trait. Bye. It's done, <laughs> yeah. right? Like I wish you well, but you're not going to be in my life, like yeah. period. But I don't like to surround myself with yes people. Like I want my friends to keep it real with me mm. and tell me how it is. Give me constructive feedback so I can learn and grow from that, not just kind of stroke my ego. Yeah, yeah. Like look, that's to me, you know. And, 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 that's, and that's, look, in a way not to hurt you too. Like yeah, I'm no, not, not insulting you. No, no. But actually um, if I say, because if I want like the best for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm yeah. genuine with you, right? Um, and I want to. I want you to grow. I actually generally want something um, good to happen in your life because if you're doing well, I do well. Like it's it's just yeah, it's that's right. yeah. So it's it's genuine. The the issue that I find is that if you share a secret such as success or anything, ideas, business, whatever, with someone that doesn't really want the best mm -hmm. for you, uh, you'll see it on their face and uh, you'll know, you'll get your answer. Yeah. Now the issue is if you're foolish enough to say, mm, like no no that's all right, I'll let it go you're just gearing up yourself for worse things to come because they already showed you their face. You, you got your answer. You should have just packed your bags and left, but you didn't. You carried it on. Now you're going to have more problems with them. It's going to be worse, the separation, whether it be friends, whatever, um, friendships, partnerships, whatever, because now you've got too much um, vested um, interest now in this situation. You've put too much in this relationship now, and now you, it's, it's in your face because too many things are starting to pop up and um, you didn't listen to yourself at the start. That's why I say scratch the surface very early yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a very big thing. If people mm. don't have genuine, in, like, well wishes for you, for your success, mm. right? I think that's a very big red flag, like, for me. That's the number one. Yeah. yeah. And I go by the principle guilty until proven innocent. So, I love like, it. I love 100%. It. <laughs> like, I apply that all the time. Everyone's like, I love it. why are you so pessimistic and cynical? I'm like, no. People need to earn your trust. Yeah. You can't just 
give that away. You can't just become best friends mm. overnight and just confide in someone with mm. everything, right? So mm. I think that's a very big like like lesson. Um, mm. Look, I think let people earn their place in your life. Look, yeah. I think it's because um, when we were younger, we did give it easily, mm. and they hurt us, and we kept back and forth, back and forth, this whole thing. So what's happening? Why am I getting hurt? And why I'm genuine. I'm thinking people should be genuine back with me. Um, no, uh, they're, they're not. Like I said before, they're attracted to what you have. Um, and some people are attracted to what you are because they are like that. You need to decipher which one's which. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. your job. And that comes with experience. Absolutely. Um, and I'm giving it to you, really. I'm, I'm being honest with you. Scratch the surface. Yeah. Um, you know, you'll see it straight away. Good you'll see it straight away. Yeah. You know? Perfect. Yeah. I think um, it's uh, important for all of us to take stock from time to time about uh, the quality of the relationships that we have Correct. in our lives and uh, you know move forward accordingly. So hopefully that was informative for you all. Mm. Thank you for joining us for another episode. Like, subscribe and follow. Love it. Thank you.